Derek King, have it your way. Can I help you? Um, yeah, I'd like a big blooper, curly fries, and a large yellow fizzy, please. Big blooper, curly fries, and a large yellow fizzy. Is that all? Um, yeah. How would you like that blue? Everything. Mayo? Yeah, everything. Onions? Everything. Horseradish? <laughs> Horseradish? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. So many choices, huh? Um, yeah. Well, what about eternity? What does that taste like? Well, eternity. <laughs> you know, what happens after you die? Well, I know what eternity is. Only two choices there. Excuse me? Heaven and hell, that's it. Is this some kind of a joke? Well, I wouldn't joke about that. If you ate like this every day of your life, you need to think about eternity a lot sooner than we'd expect. <laughs> okay, this was a fun conversation. I'm gonna go drive down the road and uh, stop by some other place. It's nice to have choices. Hey, my car won't start. It just died on me. It was just running fun. Well, you never know when these kind of things are gonna happen. But it was just running fun. Do you have jumper cables? Um, no. Fair can of gas in the back? I don't think it's out of gas. Trip away? Uh, what's that? You really are unprepared, aren't you? Well, this hasn't happened to me before. Kind of like dying, huh? Why do you keep bringing that up? Well, death can happen pretty quickly, like it did for your friend, Dylan. Did you know Dylan? Yes. I don't want to talk about it. Are you sure? I'm positive. Have it your way. I need a call for help. I'm here. Who are you? Well, to the guy that drove in before you, I'm the doctor and the bank. He only talks to me when he's sick or needs money, but at least he's still talking to me. Now, the guy behind you thinks I'm more like a policeman, always waiting to pull him over and slap him with a fine every time he made a wrong turn. <coughs> he had a pretty tough father. Yeah, I had a father once, but he passed away. I don't suppose you know anything about it. Well, you, do you think I killed him? Well, you could have kept him from dying. You could have kept Dylan from dying while you're at it. Well, your dad was on a snowmobile going 40 miles per hour. Dylan was drinking and driving. You could have done something if you're who you say you are. I didn't say. Who do you say that I am? You're just a voice. A distant voice. You sit in there and watch people drive by a career or whatever. You don't know what it's like out here. You just sit in there and... Take orders. Every day. It's my money. I'll get what I want. But you won't get what you deserve if you make the right choice. Now. Terry King, have it your way. Can I help you? Leave me alone. Excuse me? <laughs> I just need a moment to think, okay? Okay. Do you know what you want now? <laughs> Wait, what? Are you going to make an order? Wait, what happened to the other guy? What guy? There was a guy in there. He was just talking to me. I've been on this shift since 2 p.m. There's not been a guy taking orders. But I was just... Are you going to order something, sir? Um, uh, yeah. I'll have a big blooper, curly fries, and a large yellow fizzy, please. I have a thick blooper, curly fry, fries, and a large yellow fizzy. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? Just a minute. One minute, 60 seconds. One sixtieth of an hour. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. The store will open in one minute. Your wait time for the next available agent is approximately one minute. Sitting at a stoplight. Standing in line. Reheating leftovers in the microwave. I'll be back in a minute. This will only take a minute. Just a minute. It's really not that much time. A slice of your life. But it can change everything. One minute, you're nobody. And the next minute, everyone knows your name. And the winner is... We're investigating a report out of Washington on a White House intern named Maya.
Monica Lewinsky. Let's roll. One minute you're on top of the world. And the next minute, you're buried by it. A phone call. Mrs. Jones, this is Amanda from Dr. Mill's office. The doctor would like to see you about your test results. A knock on the door. Mr. Thompson, my name is Sergeant Blake from the Sheriff's Department. I've got some bad news about your son, Brian. A letter in the mail. You are required to appear in a court of law. A news bulletin. We interrupt this program. We bring you a special report. This is a Fox News alert. The president has just been shot. Shocking news today out of Littleton, Colorado from Columbine High School. A second plane has just struck the World Trade Towers. In a minute, nothing will ever be the same again. You're pregnant. You're dying. You're losing with less than a minute on the clock. You're liable. You're fired. Are you ready for that? A shot. A crash. An accident. A flood.